Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different and out of my comfort zone. I thought I would actually do a hair tutorial for you all. You're probably like, what? Deanna's doing hair? Like... Um, as you can probably tell in some of my other videos, I like don't care about my hair whatsoever besides the fact that I like straighten it and make sure it looks somewhat decent. Um, <laughs> that sounds so bad. I do my hair, like I take care of it, but when it comes to styling it and taking like hours on my hair, I'm not that kind of person. But ever since I've received this bad boy set in the mail, I've been curling my hair like crazy. This is the New Me Lustrum set. Um, I got this in the mail a couple months ago and I've been playing around with it. I do have two of their individual wands that I've been I've had for a couple years now and I love them. You get five interchangeable wands um, with the wand adapter and it's amazing. I actually do have a coupon code for this if you guys are interested because you can get this bad boy for $99 instead of $280 which is hurts my ears and my credit card when I say that number but have no fear because this code is here for you. So I've been obsessing over this because this is actually able to curl my hair. Like actually no joke because I have the thinnest, finest hair like ever and this thing curls it and leaves a curl for days. I've always wanted my hair curled and never was able to do that because no curling wand could do what this does. So I thought I would share with you because this is like my holy grail hairstyling product when it comes to me curling my hair. Like this thing is actually amazing and I love it. I don't know what I would do without it. Um, I probably would not even be curling my hair. I don't have enough good things to say about this besides the fact that if you have thin, brittle, fine, straight hair like me, you need to try this or at least just get one of their wands because I've had so many horror stories with freaking curling my hair. Like I would buy wands and I'd be like, oh my gosh, I want to curl my hair. Like I saw all those pictures on Pinterest and Tumblr, like wanting my hair curled and so pretty. I would try it and my hair would be curled for two seconds and then like a minute later it'd be flat again because my hair don't hold a curl. So this thing holds my curls like crazy. I, I don't know what it is about it, but it does. And it leaves curls in my hair for days. And it leaves my hair super soft, super silky, super smooth. There's something about it that's just amazeballs. So you guys have to try it out. Love for this is just eternal. So I love this bad boy. It's amazing. So I thought I would do a tutorial on what I do when I curl my hair when I curl my hair. Um, I don't do it too often, but I do it on a regular basis to the point where I've gotten it down to a system and how I like it because I've been kind of playing around with how I curl it, what kind of wands I've used. I have not used every single attachment in this set per se, but I have found one that I really do enjoy. So um, if you want to see how I do my hair, just keep on watching. So when you first open the box or thingamajigger, it looks like this. Um, it comes in this amazing carrying case. So this is like perfect for all y'all who travel. You have all the little components in here with all the barrels inside. You get two sides. So it just has them like this. And then you do get a fan handy dandy little glove because this is necessary, let me tell you. These things heat up so fast. Like, it is so necessary for you to wear this, unless you're like master curler, which I am not. So I wear the glove because, I mean, it's a fashion statement, hello. And you're keeping your hands burn free because, girl, I have burned my hands way too many times. It's not cool. I am gonna be using the 25 millimeter and it looks like so. So this is what it looks like. So what you do is you just put this in like so. They kind of have like little places to meet up in this barrel. And then it goes down like that. And then you just push, push it over like so. So it says lock. So now you're all in place. So I'm just gonna turn it on. This literally heats up in like six seconds. So when this thing turns green, be careful because this thing is on fire. So um, what I like to do to prep for my hair if y'all want some good curls, curl your hair when it's dirty. So, what I like to do is I like to use a couple different products. So the first one I like to do is spray my hair with the Batiste. Batiste? Batiste? I don't know how to say it. But this is the dry shampoo. Mine has the deep dark brown color in it. So, I just spray a little bit of this in my roots. Ooh! To 
kind of give my hair some texture and it, I don't know. Yes, this is like cleaning up your hair, but it gives my hair volume at the same time too. So that is in there. So this is my little secret for when I curl my hair. I actually like to spray hair spray in my hair before I curl it. Um, I have, I feel like it just like sticks. I don't know. There's something about it that just works for me. So I use the Kendra Platinum Finishing Spray. You want to choose a hairspray that is not going to make your hair crunchy. I would just be careful choosing the hairspray for when you curl your hair or if you even want to do this stuff because you want to be able to like brush through your hair. So I'm just going to, you know, spray some. It smells good. You don't need to go crazy with it as long as you get some of your hair put in. All right, so now that my hairspray is in my hair, I'm just gonna brush it through so all the hair is kind of tangle free. Now we are ready to start curling our hair. So um, I kind of like to do it in sections because uh, I kind of get lost in my own hair because I have a lot of hair. So I used to take this like alligator looking like clip. It's kind of creepy if you actually look at it. Does it look like an alligator or is it just me? First section, I'm just gonna part kind of where my eyes are and then go back and kind of pull my hair together in half. We're just gonna do our hair in like, I don't know, two sections, but then I do like subsections. So I'm just gonna put this up with our little alligator clip. Look how neat that is. Like, hello. Okay. So we have two sections here. First rule, put on the damn glove, cause this thing is hot. Okay, so I'm just gonna start out in the back of this section. I'm gonna be taking like one inch sections like so. And what I like to do is I like to actually curl my hair flat like this, um, instead of kind of making it like a tight kind of, I don't know how to explain it. I'm so bad at this, I apologize. But I'm gonna kind of make it like this, and you'll see. I'm gonna be curling away from my face, so like so. As you can see, I'm doing it flat, pretty flat. And then I'm just gonna leave it there for about 10 to 15 seconds, depending on how thick your hair is. I just kinda like to feel how it, hot my hair gets on the actual barrel, and then see from there. And I kinda just pull it down like so, and you get a bouncy wave curl like that. How pretty! So I just push that back and then do the same thing. I'm going to be curling my hair away from my face the entire time. So take another section. I'm going to do it like so. And then again, same thing. Make it flat. Again, I kind of like to go like this so you can see how flat it's getting. And then you can always run it up. It's also personal preference on how far up you want your hair to start curled. Um, I kind of do it just like two inches away from my head, two to three inches away from my head. Because I don't really want like super, super tight curls. Um, but we are going to be brushing them out, so don't you worry. And then I take it off and I just kind of hold it there for a sec. And then bring it down. So I'm just going to be repeating this step for this bottom layer and then we will do the top one. Okay, so I curled the first half of my hair and this is what it looks like. Don't worry, we're going to be brushing it out. But what I like to do before I go on is spray a little bit more of that hairspray in your hair just so they kind of stay and I like to scrunch them together. And then do the same to the other side. Scrunch them. And then now we're going to start with the top parts.
but my whole head is curled as you guys can see. I'm just gonna spray the last of that hairspray in my hair and then let it do its thing, you know. So this is what it looks like without it being brushed through. Very pretty, very tight curls. If this is what you like, then by all means keep it that way. But I definitely like my hair a little looser, so what I like to do is I just like to flip my hair over, kind of rustle my hands through it. Flip it back over, and you kind of have like super voluminous curls. What I also like to do is finish it with my favorite finishing spray. This is the Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Dry Spun Finish Spray. Yeah. <laughs> so I just like to lift up my hair and kind of put it in there. Like so. You might have some fizzies, but you know what? Nothing y'all can't deal with, so. All right, so that is it for this hair tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, I will leave my coupon code right here for you all if you guys are interested in checking out that set, or I will leave it down below with the link so you guys just click on it and go straight to the site. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Um, I would totally do more hair tutorials for you all if you are interested. So let me know and I will do this for you all. And also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I have some amazing ones planned in the next couple of weeks. Um, for fall that I'm super excited about so I hope you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those and I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!